The government to formulate laws that protect former inmates against stigma and discrimination as they seek opportunities for employment. They say skills gained while serving their jail terms remain underutilized because of challenges faced while integrating back into society. And as Purity Museo now reports, the former prisoners have embraced alternative ways to make a living. Take a look. This electronic shop is owned by an ex-convict, Minas Stima. A business he began in 2005, shortly after he was released from prison. Yeah. And the car for Kutoka 2003, Baka Mwaka 2005, Mozua Sita, Don Rimaliza Kifungo Chang. While serving his term in prison, Mina says he gained electronic wiring skills through an in house training program. He was a kazi ya Kazi Astima, Huko, Kazi Awayari. Now, Wakati Nitoka Huko, in Gaji, the Kuvigumu Kujiusa, Niriweza Kupatana and Mafundi, and Gina Bao. Following his release, he was unable to secure a job due to stigma by the community and resolved to be self-employed. <laughs> Everybody loves a freedom, but a section of ex-prisoners in Maralal, Samburu County, would rather be locked up again than live in a society that rejects and stigmatizes them. Kwani ni mtu ambaye ametoka prison, akona ujuzi, akona certificate zake, ambaye akiomba tu kazi nzuri tu ya kuhudumia wanaiji kwa ofisi ya serikali, anakosa. Nga tutaidia tu kidogo tukitoka, at least unaenda unaanza kazi yako. A significant challenge is re-entry into the labor market. Released prisoners have difficulty securing and maintaining jobs as employers are reluctant to hire people with criminal records. You help us create awareness so that uh, the community can be able to accept back our graduates as uh, people who have been uh, reformed and are ready to stay a meaningful life so that they do not return back to crime. Purity Museo, Easy Friday.